As you guys know, NBA season is back. We have been waiting forever. Um, as the world knows, they went on a you know hiatus uh, since March 11th due to the coronavirus pandemic. And as of July 30th, they came back. So um, in the midst of them coming back, I mean, our, our whole world was in a, in a conversation, a very important conversation of Black Lives Matter, of justice for Breonna Taylor, of George Floyd. And so the NBA, as you guys know, always does a pretty good job with making um, just a positive light to social justice issues. So uh, this weekend during the Utah Jazz uh, game versus the New Orleans Pel Pelicans, they, the entire NBA, not only players, but coaches, franchise, everyone took a knee. Um, and this was huge because we know just a few years ago, Kaepernick was doing this and it was, he was a black sheep, you know? So to have the whole organization do this and it not be frowned upon is amazing. Um, and the NBA fully supported. Of course, you had some people that obviously were against it. Um, but it was, it was a lot of support and it was great to see. I thought it was amazing. I thought it was um, organized very well. Um, the NBA, we, we knew about Black Lives Matter on the court. We knew about the social justice messages that would be on the back of the jerseys. Mm -hmm. um, we kind of had an idea that something would be on the warm-up t-shirts, um, but we didn't know for sure what would be there. But to see everyone in unison take a knee, um, I thought it was just, was just great. We, you know, again, there were some people who didn't kneel. Um, we heard why from certain people, and we understand why. You know, we got to respect everyone's opinion on it. Yeah. But ultimately, I thought it was a great sign of unity uh, by the NBA. And shout out to Mark Cuban, because even before we had seen this display, Mark Cuban had openly said, if any of my players want to kneel, I, I stand in support of them. And so now we're seeing everyone kneel in unison. Yeah. And I, I think what's important to note about all of this is like, there, to your point of there are certain people who decided not to um, kneel, which... I respect, you know, whatever decision or even Mark Cuban who said, listen, I support my players. My issue with, I think the reason why Kaepernick's situation was much different was because him kneeling, people like attacked him for it. Whereas NBA has been like, look, whether you, like, if you want to kneel, we're full support. And if you don't, that's your prerogative because you have your own beliefs, but don't knock those who are making light of it and using their platform in that way. But I thought, you know, Thursday night, this was a great, um, just defining moment a way to just do tip off that is like something we've never seen before. So I thought it was amazing. Yeah. I, I, I you know, I, I go back to what we spoke about a couple of weeks ago when we were just saying that, you know, we kind of all agreed that they'd be able to do more with the season being started up. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that this was a great way to kick things off and let the world know how much the NBA supports um, just, you know, the whole the whole culture of everything mm -hmm. that's been uh that's been going on it was amazing seeing everybody pretty much uh nailing down um i, I love it man i love the, the the slogans on the back of the jersey I, I know you know guys who are, you know had their little gripes because they didn't get to pick what was on the back of the jerseys and you know maybe you might want to get a little deeper sentiment but you know what i'm saying i love seeing education reform on the jersey I love seeing say her name on the back of the jersey. I love seeing Black Lives Matter on the on the back of the jerseys, you know. So I think that the NBA still managed to do a great job as they often do. Um, you know, I just want them to to keep that momentum going because we, we definitely need it and we can't stop pushing. And and I do want to note um two things. One, though I, I I definitely am in full support of the kneeling of the messages on the on the jerseys, you know, I just want I want the world to still think about proactive ways that we can make real, real change. I think the whole purpose of kneeling and of the jerseys um, is for awareness. And so I just think that we're, at, we're past, we're so past the point of awareness. So again, not knocking it, but I just think it's like, now it's like action plan mode. Like we have the awareness and it kind of goes back to the whole Jay-Z conversation when he, right, when he had that meeting with the NBA. The NFL when he was like all right look do you know the problem do you know the problem do you know the problem okay great we all know the problem now let's do something to change this right like that's kind of where my head is at personally with it it's just like the hashtags are cool and everything we, the whole world knows Black Lives Matter but Breonna Taylor's shooters murderers are still out there still employed yeah. well that um, comes so also with 
you know, we got to, you know, come come November, we got to get out there and vote because because those type of changes mm-hmm. are not something where we can just come in and say, all right, everything is fixed right now. That comes with replacing the old mindset that's in all of these offices, the Senate, the Congress, the House of Representatives, the state controllers, the assemblymen and all of that. You know, so we have to we have to vote again. Yeah. And I, I can't stress this enough. We have to vote re- responsibly yeah. as well. Understand who you're voting for. Understand what they stand for. What's what's their morals? Understand if they actually have a plan that's going to help you, help your family, help your yeah. neighbors. You know, you have to really be responsible when you're out there and vote. But that's you know that's one of the main things we have to be aware of that we need to be out voting. Absolutely, yeah. that is the next step. And I think that I agree with you, Em. I've said from day one that to me, actions speak louder than words. Um, so the kneeling is a start. Yeah. Um, but it, again, from this, we need to have it progress into actual actions that take place and actual actions that show us that Black Lives Matter. I, not that you just said it. Um, so, you know, that becomes the next step and, and we've got to continue to push that narrative. But having this message across your screen all day, every day, is yeah. what at least starts to create that dialogue. Um, as you mentioned with Kaepernick, when he, when he knelt four years ago, five years ago, it was received negatively because people weren't willing to have the conversation. But now when you have all of these NBA players and Major League Baseball players and MLS players kneeling, now mm-hmm. you're forced to have the conversation because now you can no longer hide behind ignorance or not understanding why somebody's kneeling. When there are thousands of people around the country who play a sport that you love that are kneeling, it forces you to at least say, okay, what is this about? Smush Parker here, formerly up to the Los Angeles Lakers, and you are now tuned in to Real Fans, Real Talk. Live from the camp. Uh huh. This is Real Fans, Real Talk. Real Fans, Real Talk. We as real as you thought.